Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com, and here we have a ThinkPad T400 loaded with Phoenix Technologies Hyperspace Instant On Desktop. We'll be testing testing out the hybrid version, which is the uh, one for mainstream notebooks, whereas the dual is what you'd find on like a low-powered ultra portable or uh, more likely a netbook. As you can see, I press the button; it's booting up. Uh, at this point, we could press F4 and uh, tell it to skip hyperspace and go right into Vista, but I didn't press it. It's still loading. It's uh, not quite instant on, but uh, you know, maybe 20, 30 seconds, and now it's ready. It should be finding the network. Maybe not. Wait. Yeah, there it goes. Found my network. And uh, yeah, right now it's all set. So you can see uh, on the top right corner there's uh, Wi-Fi, battery, volume. Uh, then on the, in the middle section of the left is the launcher. Here's uh, the browser, Mebo, YouTube, Flickr, FaceFeed, uh, Facebook, Amazon, all the other things you would expect. Below that is a button to help and then settings which will pop up here. Uh, not quite ready to go, but uh, that'll be there in the next version, as you can see from the uh, message saying "feature not yet implemented." Uh, below the settings is a Windows button, and I'll try to zoom in on it, but it's digital zoom. Anyway, you can see that it's a uh, blinking status button. Uh, that means Windows is starting. Uh, if there's a little uh, moon there, it would be hibernating. Uh, anyway, that's so you can know what the status of Windows is while you're in hyperspace. Once it's ready, we could hit F4 and switch over there. In the meantime, we just play around in hyperspace for a second. You can see it looks pretty standard, like you know, almost any Linux OS. It's pretty easy to use. It's not a whole lot going on, though. So we'll go to geek.com. It's a uh, Mozilla based, uh, based browser. It loads just like anything else. There you go. Sites up. Just like you would expect. Same with, uh, with Google or Gmail or Yahoo or uh, all the other stuff you use. Okay, so we'll hit F4 now and kind of try to get into Windows and see what happens. Windows is still booting up, which is uh, probably a testament to just how quick an instant on OS is. Because this is not a old system. This is, like I said, the ThinkPad T400, which is uh, reasonably well outputted for a notebook. It's actually pretty powerful. So uh, if this takes a little while to load Windows, then you know almost any notebook will. Anyway, Windows is still loading. We'll move back. Oh, there you go. We'll go back to Phoenix for the time being. It's easy, easy as hitting F4. And now you can do things like check the weather and all. You can see the launcher on the left hand side is uh, sort of useless at this point. Like you don't really need a link to Amazon.com or Flickr or Orbitz. Those are easy enough to click on through the browser. Uh, the useful ones are the browser itself because you can have just a blank desktop here you can't right click or left click or, or drag or anything and it, but the other useful uh, shortcut on the left hand side is my documents which uh, there you go this will show you just kinda what stuff is on here you can uh, here you go there's just I didn't load these on there's just some images and junk like that anyway it says if you want to open this image we have to open with Windows, which is a little bit disappointing. Same with a, uh, this is a .doc, uh, MS document file. This we have to open with Windows. We'll cancel it for now. Anyway, so say we are using fire, uh, using the browser and we got bored and we want to hop right into Windows. Uh, we see that the Windows status says it's running. We hit F4 and in a second we're in Windows. We can load up 
Internet Explorer, or anything you would like to do in Windows, just like normal. You get bored with Windows, you want to go back to your other environment, you hit F4 again. That's really all there is to it. That's kind of the magic of having the instant on desktop.